Hello, Shalom Aleichem. Hope everybody is well. We recently learned the Mishnah in the beginning of the third parak of Rachos that speaks about, well, frankly, it's a morbid topic, uh, but the Mishnah speaks about an interesting halacha. And there's actually a very interesting Gemara about this as well that maybe you'd like to learn with your children. I'll show you the Mishnah here. The Mishnah is in the beginning of Parak Gimel. <laughs> mission is in the beginning of Parakimel over here, and the mission says that Mishemeto Muta Lefanov, somebody whose uh, dead relative is lying before him. So the halacha is that an Avel is a mourner, and a mourner is somebody who mourns for one of his seven close relatives. For example, um, mother, father, brother, sister, son, daughter, or spouse. So the seven close relatives. So when they're in the status of being an Oni, they're pater me kriya shema, they're exempt from resetting kriya shema. Minat fila, they don't have to daven. Minat filin, and they don't put on filin either, assuming, of course, that they're male. And the halacha is that an onin, in general, is pater minat mitzvos, doesn't say mitzvos. Shabbos, halachically speaking, practically, Shabbos has a different halacha. If somebody is in a different city, one should talk to a rav whether or not one qualifies as an oni. Because generally speaking, the idea is since you're involved and engaged in taking care of the person who has passed away and making sure that they are buried properly. So you're busy with the burial and therefore osik the mitzvah, pater a mitzvah, you're busy with one mitzvah, you're exempt from another mitzvah. The Mishnah continues, no se hamita v'chilufehen, v'chilufehen, So they have people, the pallbearers, they're carrying the mita. The mita is the stretcher upon which the dead body lies. And then because the body's heavy and they have to walk away, so you have people who are going to relieve them. You have the relievers. And then you have chilufei chilufei, and you have the closers. You have the people who relieve the relievers. So you have a, a number of people that are involved in taking care of the uh, person that's passed away. So the Mishnah says, depends. Did they already carry or did they not carry yet? So either way, if the the, the beer, if the, the dead body requires them, requires their help, so then they're engaged in the mitzvah, they're pater, they're exempt from reciting Shema. However, if the body does not require them, meaning they've already gone, or maybe it's not such a far distance, and the people that are carrying the mace are comfortable, so then, of course, then the people who are not needed are going to have to say Shema. Tfila, though, you know, the Amidah is definitely going to be different than the Shema. In what way is it different than the Shema? So there's two Pshatim in the Bartanura. One says that because Tfila is not Midor Raisa, and Shema is Dor Raisa. Uh, so someone is rooted in the Torah, so if it's rooted in the Torah, it's more important, I guess, has more value, and therefore you're going to push yourself to say it. Tfila is longer, it takes more Kavana, more intent more intention, more focus, more concentration, and that's not something that's reasonable at a time that a person is uh, at a funeral, and therefore everybody's going to be exempt, even if they're not needed to carry the bed. Let's take a look at the Gemara on this. The Gemara here is in Brachos and Daf Yotes, Amid Aleph. A very brief, short Gemara, just to give a taste to the boys of how the Gemara speaks about um, the Mishnah. So here we have, No se hamita v'chilu fehen. We're going to start over here. No se hamita v'chilu fehen. So people are carrying the stretcher, the bed, and the people who will relieve them. Taner Abana, we learn in a brayta. Now the boys are not familiar with brightot yet, but a brayta, of course, is a teaching by the Tanoim that was not codified in the Mishnah. <coughs> Rabbi Chia did codify certain brightot, so some brightot have more validity than others. Generally speaking, also, Tafresh stands for Taner Rabbanon. The boys are not going to be familiar with that either. They haven't come across it yet. As opposed to Tnan, which is two nuns. Two nuns indicates a Mishnah. One nun indicates a Brayta. Taner Rabbanon, the rabbi is taught in a Brayta. Eid Motzin et Hamet, Samach L'Kriyashma. That is that you shouldn't start a funeral. You shouldn't take the person out. What if it's right around the time for Kriyashma? Why not? because then you're going to be Muvatal Kriya Shema, which means that we're concerned that you're going to go ahead and make it so that people won't say Shema. Why? Because they're going to be busy with the mace, like we just learned in the Mishnah. So if you have a choice, push off the funeral for a few minutes, say Shema, and then start it. Obviously, first say Shema, and then do the funeral. There's no rush, as long as, of course, the mace is taken care of, and you have what's called Kavala Mace. 
Im is chilu, however, if they already began, okay, in masikin, then you should not interrupt. You should not interrupt the, the funeral. The Gemara says, Aini, this is not so. Rav Yosef, when he died, they brought him out even though it was close to Kriya Shema. The Gemara answers, Adam Choshev Shani, that an important person is different. So this is a fascinating Gemara because the Gemara, first of all, tells you when you begin saying the Shema or to begin the funeral, it's right around the Shema time. And the question to discuss with your kids is, why is Adam Choshev Shani? Why is a, a, an important person different? And why is that an excuse? Let's see if Rashi says anything over here. So this is definitely part one of the sugya here, if you will. Um, Rashi says, You don't take a dead body out to bury it. You're going to nullify the Kriya. You're going to make it so people are not going to say it. Um, uh, and that's really all that Rashi says over here. And there's no Tosvos on this. So that's an interesting Gemara, very two, just two, three lines. Gives a sense a little bit of how we can elaborate and discuss and explain more than the Mishnah itself. <laughs>